Another round of applause for Tamara for her beautiful performance. Okay, so it's almost 8 o'clock. We were supposed to start at 7.15, so we're just on time. Indian Standard Time, of course. Um, I tried to work something out with the traffic gods to make sure everybody could get here on the 401, but, you know, it's a bottleneck. You can't avoid it. That's just the way it is. Uh, my name is Pooja Honda. I'll be your MC for tonight. And um, some of you guys may remember me from Global. I feel like I have to slouch a little bit. I'm a very tall girl. Um, uh, from Global, I used to be an entertainment reporter and traffic reporter there. I'm now at CP24. I'm doing some anchoring, reporting, uh, traffic and weather. So I hope you'll watch. And um, so tune in to CP24. And that concludes the evening. Uh, have a good night. See you later. Okay, no, not really. Uh, we're obviously here for a very important reason. And uh, this is the official launch for SEPNA. I'm not sure if you guys know this. They've been working together for over a year now. But this is the official launch, and you guys are all part of it. Um, SEPNA, for those of you who don't know, is a nonprofit organization, and it's dedicated to improving the lives of South Asians in Canada. We have a great group of people here tonight, and uh, I even saw Shah Rukh Khan. He was picking at the cheese. He likes cheddar, just so you know. And uh, there's people ranging from a variety of backgrounds here and professions, but we're all here because we actually share a common interest, and we care about our health. SEPNA was created for the purpose of bringing these two elements together. At this time, I'd like to introduce someone who is no stranger to this building. He currently leads GK, GSK's Canadian R&D organization of over 250 scientists and staff involved in global drug development, clinical trials, and regulatory affairs. He is also a member of the executive team, which oversees the company's $1 billion business in Canada. He serves as president of the Canadian Society of Pharmaceutical Sciences, which brings together government, academia, and industry to improve drug research and development in Canada. He has co-chaired the 2006 and 2007 Canadian Drug Information Association meetings and sits on the North American Advisory Council for DIA. He is a previous vice chair of the Regulatory Affairs Committee at RXND. He was a member of the University of Toronto Advancement Board for the New Pharmacy Building and Board Governor at Hillfield Strathallen College in Hamilton. That's a long bio. He's done a lot. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for SEPNA President Dr. Rav Kumar. <laughs> That's the kind of welcome that uh, I'd like to have, that kind of Bollywood uh, entrance there. I, I've, I've always wanted that, you know, and uh, so I think I'm going to take these guys, these uh, sound engineers with me to the office every day with that music playing in my meetings, and I'm going to go home with that because uh, it, it's pretty cool. Eh? So thank you, Pooja. Welcome, everyone, and welcome uh, especially to the official launch of Sapna. So now I'm sure many of you have been to, to many events where you turn up, you, you meet some people, you, you have a few drinks, you have some nice food, and then you go home and you don't remember anything about it whatsoever. Well, you know, this event has to be very, very different from that. And the reason for that is because we as South Asians have a big problem. In two years' time, in 2010, 60% of people on the planet who have heart disease will be Indians. In 2017, in the GTA, the visible majority will be South Asians. So the problem is not far away in India, the problem is right here amongst us. So let me tell you why I'm involved in Sapna. You know, th this time last year, I had a pretty close call. I had my regular annual physical, and I was told that I, I might have very serious cardiovascular disease. Now, I'm, I'm not overweight, I, I, I eat healthy, I exercise, I don't have any, any family history, uh, I don't smoke. So, luckily for me, it was, a, it was a false alarm. But during that time, you know, I, I, I learned a lot about South, South Asian health issues. So, I was very receptive when a few months after that, it was around September of last year, when my very good friend, Brem Karunakaran of Charisma Communications, brought together a group of people with an idea 
that would give back to our community. So before I go any further, I would like to recognize Brem because he's the originator of, the, of this whole idea. So where is he? Where's Brem? Thank you, Brem. So you know, if, if anyone is Mr. Sapna, it's Brem. Now, for those who believe in conspiracy theories, let's get something out of the way straight away. And that is that Sapna is not a secret marketing tool for the pharmaceutical industry to sell more drugs. Thank you. It just happens that the concept for Sapna was created by a few people who happened to come from pharma, who all had some excitement and some passion around this cause. But, you know, as we've shared that vision and our ideas with a bunch of other people, we found that a lot of other people share that passion and, and share that vision. And speaking of which, we do have some folks here tonight that, uh, that share that passion uh, from the government of Ontario. I haven't had a chance to, to meet him yet, but uh, hopefully he's here. But Mr. Baz Balkasun, are you here? <laughs> 